coin ops forgotten worlds reborn 385 arcade games all coin op related arcade games runs on almost any pc arcade emulation at its best but i have to say when i first booted off and i was vibing on this music kind of reminded me of this clip right here hi i'm renata bliss and i'm your freestyle dance teacher Hey, and that's no disrespect. I mean, I felt my dad moves coming out like crazy there, but um, it just had me going. It was a great vibe. You can see the smoke in the background. You're in the arcade room. You got the marquee lit up. You got the video snaps. I mean, I'm ready. I wish there was a demo mode on this where just like you boot it up and you could just leave it in the background and it would scroll games at random. That'd be awesome. Anyways, let's go ahead and check this one out. All right, so let's go ahead and check out some of these uh, these uh, different styles. So we have Arcade Cabinet Large with a cross fade. Let's go ahead and do that one to start. Let's go ahead and see what we got here. And this should be the actual Arcade Cabinet as we're scrolling through. There you go, big, big arcade. You don't see the bottom of it at all. And there's a little bit of fade in between. Let's go ahead and exit. Let's go see what it is without the cross fade. Just double click, go back in, see what that looks like. Okay, as you can see, there's no fading. It's just like, it's not like the arcade cabinets are coming in and out. Um, it's just very, just hard cut, which there's nothing wrong with a hard cut every once in a while. All right, so let's go ahead and see what the, I'm gonna keep it on the cross fade. I think it's, you know, it's a little more custom, a little more tricked out. And let's look at what the small cabinets do. So we're still going to have that fading in. It's going to look like the arcade cabinets are kind of coming forward and backwards a little bit. Um, but the cabinet is smaller. Okay. Doesn't seem that much smaller. But there you go. All right. So let's do day and open it up. So the daytime, the cabinet should be a little brighter overall, like more light shining on the cabinet itself. As you see there, especially around the... Uh, the bezel area on there. So let's look at that. Okay, so a lot more brighter there, especially 1942. And then if we do the night mode, not only will the marquee be a little lot more bright, right? Because at night the marquee is going to shine through. But you also notice the coin slot, supposedly, I haven't seen this yet. This is my first time, you know, experiencing it. But what I was reading was that the coin slot, okay, yeah, the little 25 cent. 25 cents more like insert four of these or five or six now um okay yeah you can see yeah so it's more chill i like night mode i think it's more kind of it's the vibe but i guess to each their own that's pretty cool oh and you can see that like the marquees around the background also look like they're different i don't know maybe i'm imagining that okay cool so the day and night mode is 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 a pretty significant change there you got your small and your large so far so now we have the scene and as you can see here there's a ton of scene uh there's the atmosphere there is these different backgrounds so you got asteroids versus marble madness you got galaga versus pac-man so i'm not going to look at all these let's try last blade versus metal slug as an example this is more the reason why you should go check this out i'll put links in the description to how to get all this stuff but, um, oh wow, it's quite a... Okay, so this is just two cabinets, okay. So I have to say, I'm way more interested in the uh, the one that came by default. So if it's just a couple cabs, let's see what city is. But the ones where it's verse, it's it's more of a... I mean, if hey, you know, if you're into those two games that are being displayed, that's awesome. Okay, this is cool, a little night mode. It's like a, you know, a... Um, Blade Runner type of deal or a uh, kind of also reminds me of this the fifth what is it the fifth element as well all right uh, we also have retro road let's see what's all about that I know a lot of people like the different uh, retro retro themes for a lot of the different front ends yeah and we've all seen this theme before very Tron-esque like and then what else do we have here What's the next retro wave? So I have a feeling maybe this is going to be the one with like the sun. Let's see what we got here in the mountains. Yep, exactly what I thought it was going to be. Very cool. And we've seen some themes with this before. 
All right, what else do we got here? We have Smoke Free Alternative Arcade. Okay, now this next one says muted. If it says muted, it has nothing to do with sound. Um, probably has to do with something with visuals, some muted visuals of some kind. We'll check that out in a second. Okay, so very cool. I really like this. This is what I'm talking about. You got, you know, the arcade uh, in the background. I love that. Very cool. I like that one a lot. That's one of my favorites so far. And then Smoke Free Alternative Arcade. Broke Street Muted. Let's see what Muted is here. See if we can see a difference. And you guys will probably notice something in the video that I don't even notice. Ah, okay. Very cool. So... The muted has, it looks like it has different arcade games altogether. Like some of these games are different. But um, as you can see here, a lot more marquee glowing, things like that. Less uh, less of the gameplay, but very cool. And then, uh, you know, again, I'm in night mode right now. Remember that. So I'm in night mode on top of this. So nice lit of marquees, things like that. It would look even different potentially when you do day mode with that. Okay, and then we got uh, Smoke Free Arcade. So again, it's just gonna have no smoke coming through the arcade itself. Uh, and remember when we first started this video, um, let's try Electric Alternative Arcade. Let's see what's going on there. But remember when we started this video, or if you rewind, there was smoke going on through the arcade itself. What? Electricity? <laughs> okay, so that one is just like the one two above it, but with electricity right like muted but without the electricity then we have smoky alter okay now you have the actual smoke and uh, i think this is one of these are the ones that come stock in the build and uh, i like i like the smoke i think it's cool i think it's not as cool as the cigarettes in the uh backup arcade build i reviewed a, a, a month or so ago but um yeah that's awesome all right so there you go that's that's smoke you get with or without smoke right that's what you're really what you're messing around with here between these ones uh, let's just see what the plain old smoky arcade is. I imagine that might be the one that we started off with. Yeah, pretty cool. So a little different. It's more more like the muted, but with smoke. And then we have spooky. Okay, and then Zen Force is the is the theme that you'll all see when you. It seems like it's the default theme that is on the actual uh, file. And everything else I've seen. Hey, just in time for Halloween. And hey, there's still smoke coming out. So you get your smoke. Or is that smoke or is that fog? Looks like there's some smoke by the pumpkin. Storm. More lightning? Let's see. Oh, wow. Literally a storm. Kind of reminds me of the last Matrix movie. Not Matrix 4, but Matrix 3. And there's that final fight between uh, Neo and, uh, I want to say Mr. Anderson, but uh, Mr. Smith. Okay, so Arcade Zen Forest. Okay, this is the one I was saying that I see in a lot of the, 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 the file. When you're getting the file, I think this is the stock JPEG you see. There's like a guy meditating, I want to say, in the background. Yeah. So very cool. All right, and then these last four, I was kind of playing with them, you know, ask them in the coin ops, the differences, but, and then the others, it seems like this is like different brightness levels. It's kind of changing like the brightness, it seems like on your screen or something similar. Maybe it's the contrast, the brightness, something's going on there with the actual looks um, that you can uh, check out. Um, but at the end of the day, I love the option here. I myself, if I was to use this, I'd probably keep it on night, and then I would probably rock one of the arcade. The arcades are cool. I just love the whole arcade feeling. I think that's the way to go, especially on a coin ops build like this, where it's all about coin operated arcades. Let's check out the file system here for coin ops Forgotten Worlds Reborn. And when it's all said and done, it's a 20 gigabyte download because it's rarred up. It's like 19.8, so it goes up to 20.8. Remember, these are great to throw onto a thumb drive or a portable hard drive. You could plug them and play them into any computer. You can have a bunch of these builds on different hard drives and just swap them out. It's it's that easy. Uh, the biggest thing, uh, if you, your first time installing, make sure you install these fixes if they're not working. They're first time install things. A lot of computers already have them 
uh, install, but some people are like, it doesn't work. Well, make sure you install this fix is not working. And then uh, here's all where you'll see me going through the, the video, checking out all these different uh, effects. You know, um, all these above here are all visual effects. Then you have the music effects. And then you have your bezels when you're in the game. And then the rest of these are pretty much all in-game uh, effects. Um, well, not all of them. Not zero. Well, zero delay, yeah, if you're in the game. And then splash video um, is... Um, I'm not sure if that's in the in the front end or not, but that is video. Uh, it's probably not in the actual game. All right, and then uh, that's pretty much it. You got restore defaults if you if you mess some things up. You just want to get back your controls to the night mode, day mode, and then you have your micro arcade, which is going to be a much smaller application, less games, and then you have your full blown arcade, which is everything on this build. So as far as the games in here, you start off in W or zero, and then you have you know you have all you can use your uh, bumper buttons to kind of jump letters if you want. Uh, you have a favorites if you click over to the right or click to the left. Um, you can add a, a game to your favorites. I think if you just hit start. Yeah, so you just hit start and it adds it to your favorites. And um, if you hit select, it exits out. So let's go ahead and see what's on here. If you see in the lower right-hand corner here, it has 382 games on it. I'm currently on Christ Crossfade with the arcade with the smoke, and it's looking clean. I have to say the background music is actually awesome. I just don't play the background music in my videos because I don't want to get copyrighted on it. And then the whole video basically goes to the music uh, provider. And uh, it's awesome though. Really, really good stuff. I'm, uh, they even included Demon Front, thank you. One of my <laughs> go-to games. Uh, so uh, in the spirit of coin ops, you know, they have all, you know, probably the games you're gonna see on their other builds and things. Uh, supposedly, you know, I'm not super involved with the coin ops people. I think they're awesome and they do a lot of good work. You know, shout out to uh, BP over there and all the rest of you guys. They're, they're nothing but kind. So shout out to them. There's a lot of people doing really great things. I know Pixel Freak also is doing YouTube videos over there as well. They post some really good content and, um, you know, I'm digging it. Uh, this supposedly is like, you know, all part of the progression uh, these, you know, some things they started out with, some things they've, you know, reborn that they've kind of, you know, you know, worked on. You might even see some of the things in this build be on other coin ops builds. And uh, I know they're working on new additional builds as well that are rolling out soon. So stay tuned. They're constantly making new stuff. And I know that a lot of what you see here is going to get rolled forward. But hey, if you're just looking for, you know, a good mix of, you know, shoot 'em ups, beat 'em ups and just you know all these classic arcade games look no further this build is not going to take much of a of a built computer at all i can tell you all these games on there's not even a single console game on here there's no playstation 3 games on here like there is on some other builds it's literally going to run on some like most hundred to two hundred dollar laptops will run this no problem whatsoever um so it's uh, really user-friendly in that regard. That being said, you're not going to find any newer games on here. Like everything 2000 plus, probably not on here. If it was made in 2000s or above, you're probably not going to find it on this build. Now, uh, that being said, there's still a ton of fun to be had here. And, um, you know, it's an awesome, awesome little thing. I know, I guess the biggest complaint or, or thing I hear is just like, another one? And uh, fair enough. I mean, there's so many builds out there. And if you built like a coin ops next build and you got all the systems and all the consoles, yeah, you really don't need this. But I, you know, I like new builds and trying out new things, new themes. You know, there's a lot of the graphic, you know, the graphic design department and the, you know, the, uh, uh, the experience department, the user experience, I would say, is where a lot of this uh, time and energy is spent for the average person, what they see. But there's a lot of optimization and things like that that go on behind the scenes as well. So keep that in mind. And um, yeah, it's cool. That's what I think. Let me know what you all think. Don't forget to like, subscribe. We'll catch you on the next one.